Well, hey, YouTube. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, uh, that last video, it ran a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but I wanted to include a few things on there, so hopefully you aren't too upset by that. But let's get this steward up here and start looking at what we got to do on him. There, how's that? So we know that this, it does, we do have full range of motion on it, but we've got a really tight spot right here. And so before we even attempt to run this, what I want to do is take off our main connecting rod down here to our beam. I want to turn it over. We're going to see where our bindage is, if it's in our valve linkage or if it's in our rocking beam. So let me uh, get this off back here. We'll make this short series of videos, guys. So... Uh, We'll cover everything, but we'll try to make the videos, well, more of a manageable length so you guys don't get bored with watching them. And, uh, well, I can get them out to you a little bit quicker so we're not waiting so long in between them. So let's uh, stop talking. There we go. This is a very nicely machined model. Um, I'm not a big fan of the color, so we're probably going to end up repainting this unit, but that'll be okay. We can do that, can't we? So let's see what we got to... there. We'll put him up here out of the way. We're going to turn this over and see if we still have our tight spot. And no, that turns over very nicely. So we know we haven't knocked anything out of time because all we did was disconnect our well, connecting rod. So now we're going to move this and see. This is where all of our tension is. And it's at the bottom of our stroke. So, well, let me get this cylinder off and uh, we'll open it up. We'll see what's inside. It could just be filled with... Uh, well, old oil that has hardened up, but we do want to be more safe than uh, sorry on this one. So let me uh, start getting this apart. Okay, guys. Well, we have our connecting rod loose, and we have our parallel motion loose from our power piston. We have our beam loose from our base. Let's get our beam out of the way. And now it's not quite as tall, so I can bring you guys in closer. And there. you guys be able to see what we got going on. So just by looking up here in the front, I'm sorry guys, here. By turning this over, can you guys maybe pick up the play that we've got right here? You see that? So that tells me that these, well these are just uh, roll pins put through there. That's not going to be, yeah, we've got, yeah, that's going to need to be addressed. That will be something that there, can you guys see that? That'll be a problem when it comes to getting our valve timing set properly and get it to repeat every time. So, we do have a free range of motion, but yeah, that's something that, we need to address that guys that's not gonna this is not right so let me get uh, this off we'll take our tie bar off up here we'll swing that out of the way and then we're gonna look at taking our cylinder off and opening it up so. okay guys well we've got our uh, linkage off for our valve chest and now that this is off I can show you I'll take this bearing off the side here and uh, you guys see the play in that. This side over here is solid and when our valve rod moves up and down we want this to run together as a team so and if it's loose like that yeah that's not good so there's one thing that we have to address it's not a big deal we can get All right, it fellas well we've got our cylinder free from our base so let's get this guy out of the way 
we got a little bit more room to work. Um, we do have some play in our valve rod. We'll address the play in this when we get our crankshaft off. And uh, we got to prep all this for paint anyhow. Which, well, I want you guys to leave me a comment. What color scheme should we paint it? This isn't... Well, the camera and the lighting here make it look worse than it is, but it's almost a, a brownish orange color. It's not ugly, but I don't know. It's just not me. So please leave me a comment down there. I'd like to know what you guys would like to see this in. So, all right, let me get this out of the way. We'll work on our cylinder here. All right, can you guys see this okay? We're going to take our steam chest cover off the front here. We're going to look inside and take a look at our slide valve and just see how well it's made i did notice when i set that down and grabbed this this one up here is loose on there but you guys see right in here oh, that lighting might be a little bit different but they have plugged these holes before so they were unhappy with where they were at so they uh, filled them back in and drilled them up here so all right, let me get these nuts off of our steam chest cover. Okay, all of our nuts are off now. Let's, uh, wow. Well, there you go, guys. That's probably what we got binding us up in there. You guys see this? Whole thick, sticky oil. So, I'm going to have to degrease this whole thing. We do have a little bit of surface rust up here. That's not a big deal. We'll get that cleaned up. Let's look at our... Oh, yeah. Can you guys see that schmoo down there in the bottom? You'll probably hear it. So, we know we got to clean that up. That's not a big deal. Let's get this away from our cylinder here. There, can you guys see all that crud down there in the bottom? Not a big deal. We do have a nice fit. We get the stuff out of the bottom down there. Looks like we've got nice even wear All right. Yeah, this is. Oh, she's sticky, guys. So, and I wish you guys could, you know, if it was smell o vision, you guys could smell this. You can smell that old oil. So, yeah, it's like I said, it's a very, very well machined model. Um, I think it's been ran, obviously, and well. It was just sat on a shelf somewhere and forgotten. And the oil that was in there was, you know, left to harden up. So we'll get this all degreased. And then we'll put some clean lubricant on there. And uh, make sure everything slides nicely and works well. And uh, I guess we'll start prepping it for paint. And when we get a part done and ready for paint, we'll set it on this side of the bench. And we'll continue to work our way through this model. Um, like I said, this is going to be kind of a kind of a long series, but it'll be broke up into short, watchable length episodes. Uh, I guess the long the long view of this is is we are going to build a steam plant with a Stewart boiler, and uh, we are going to be running this one on live steam. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, bear with me. Um, hopefully you guys like. Uh, continue to watch these like share and if you're not subscribed go ahead and click the button i'll put a link to it right there somewhere so all right thanks guys we'll see you next time bye